So in this video, we're going to talk about the recent monetary policy review in India and uh, the fact that RBI cut rates in the in the me. Uh, so in this review, the RBI reduced the policy repo rate uh, by 25 basis points, 0.25% from 5.4% to 5.15%. Now, including these rate cuts, the overall rate cuts over the last one year has been uh, 110 basis points, 1.1%, right? Uh, the monetary policy committee also decided to continue with an accommodative stance which basically means that uh, they will continue to be on the on the spree of cutting rates as long as it is necessary to revive growth while ensuring that inflation remains within the target because inflation seems to be in control they are on an accommodative stance at this point of time so you could expect further rate cuts as well in the future unless we see a growth revival happening uh, the repo rates as of now at 5.15% are at a near decade low and in the last one decade we have never seen these rates. Uh, the only time we saw lower rates uh, below this number was uh, in the 2008-9 crisis. Uh, the transmission of these rates to the overall economy however remains the key. Historically while there has been a consistent rate cut over the last few uh, quarters, we haven't really seen the transmission of this uh, in the banking segment where banks or NBFCs have passed on these rate cuts to consumers. So about a month back, RBI came up with a directive where they said that all new floating rate loans from the 1st of October onwards uh, to you know uh, retail loans, personal loans uh, or uh, to MSMEs have to be basically benchmarked to either the RBI uh, repo rate or to government of India three month treasury bill or six month treasury bill. So it has to be benchmarked to a floating to a rate that moves that can be controlled. And so consequently, the RBI is ensuring that the transmission happens clearly. Uh, post this announcement, the, uh, you know, a few banks came up with repo link products and uh, that would kind of come in. Uh, so from now on, basically any rate cuts that happen, you would expect that the transmission would be straightforward to all the floating rate loans that are there. Historically, rate cuts that have happened, we are yet to see that complete transmission happening. There were some other points that were discussed in the in the monetary policy uh, review and uh, these were around the outlook and key growth drivers and uh, various indicators suggested that domestic demand conditions remained weak uh, you know export prospects also remained weak because there was slowing global growth and continuing trade tensions based on all this uh, rbi basically cut down the expectation of growth in fy20 so for this particular year uh, at the beginning of this financial year, the GDP growth projection was 7.2%, which then got cut down to 6.9% in August 2019. And in October, this got cut in the recent policy meet, it got cut to 6.1%, which is the steepest cut yet that we have seen. When will this slowdown stop uh, is yet to be seen. Remember, it's more a demand driven slowdown where suddenly demand has dried up across a lot of the segments and uh, Indians are not known to use credit for a lot of their purchases. So whether this rate cut cycle is going to directly translate into a demand spree is to be seen. It is unlikely that in the near term, this is going to change dynamics too much. But in the longer run, obviously lower rates and uh, in, in addition, the corporate tax cut that government of India has done augur well for the overall economy. In the short run, unless we see a demand revival on the consumption side somehow, it's unlikely to have a very quick impact on the markets. Would love to hear your views on the same. Thank you.